All right, Mark Crossfield here with Golf Online answering your questions. Great question here from Chris. Best players don't always make the best coaches, so why does the PGA have a handicap limit to become a pro? Hashtag ask a G -G. Great question. And one that annoys me as well. When it comes to the PGA, which I'm a member of, because I kind of have to be, also don't, but that's a different video. There's still emphasis on playing. So they still have a playing diary. They run an events diary, which I personally have a massive objection to. That doesn't make me very popular within the PGA. So because of that, obviously there needs to be a standard, doesn't there? There needs to be some kind of agreed playing standard, otherwise the events diary. Which is really important to lots of pros, just doesn't work because you're gonna get people entering who just can't play at the standard needed. I've learned most of my best information from a few very selective pros who've also learned it from scientists, business leaders, clever, thoughtful people, not generally just golf pros or certainly not people who are just good at golf. And I very much have a problem with this, as you might tell from some of my social posts. Um, I think TV gets it completely wrong with their desire to just simply give jobs to either people who teach tour pros or people who um, were ex-tour pros. Because teaching is a very different skill to playing. Completely different skill set and I mean if anyone thinks they're the same then whew, let's just wow wowzers. So I agree I think it's uh, there because there's still an element of play that's in the PGA's remit. Um, they still put a lot of effort into running a actual diary for people to play in which I don't agree with. So I, I think it's four I don't know changes between four three four five maybe I think it's four handicap to get to and I personally think that could easily be challenged if you opened up the education of the PGA to more kind of, I think, better minds. It would open it up to some more interesting minds.